before we get into this episode, just a quick reminder, if you do want to ask any more questions for the Q&A, then leave them in the comments below. Obviously, in the previous career mode video, um, I also had this at the start of the video, uh, so the questions that you left in the comments for that one uh, will still be used, but it's just another quick reminder that if you do have any more questions, leave them in the, the comments section, and they will be used for the 2,000 subscriber Q&A video. And enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 13 of my Manchester City career mode. And today we've got a few games to play. I think there's 10 games now left in the season. That's not including like cup games if we are still in any, and it's not including international games as well. Speaking of internationals, I'm actually going to, sadly, I'm going to have to leave Ivory Coast. I know, you're really disappointed, I can tell. I'm going to resign from Ivory Coast because I'm not, I'm not massively happy with the team. And the fact that you only get to play the World Cup is slightly annoying as well. So I am going to resign from them. I'm hoping to get a top European team. Um, someone that's really decent, maybe a Spain or a Germany potentially. Um, that would be quite nice. But we are going to get on with this Burnley game. And I do have to change the team around slightly because Yaya Torre has got a red card and Kadira seems pretty tired. One of the suggestions from reading the comments in the previous episode was that I should be playing um, Alvarez Balanta. I completely agree, he's such a good centre-back and he grows really well, so I'm going to play him in this game, and I'm going to play company alongside him. I'm going to keep the defence the same other than that, except Yaya Torre is going to uh, obviously not play because he's suspended, and then I'm going to put Fernandinho alongside Matuidi, David Silver at left attacking mid, De Bruyne at right attacking mid, and then Aguero and Aubameyang up front. I think that's everyone that I want to include. Uh, I'm just going to have to have a look on the bench and on the reserves. So yeah, Lampard I'll put on the bench. Uh, Ings is still out, we'll keep Bonnie on there, and I think Cresswell is going to stay on the reserves just for now, we'll keep Montoya on the bench as well. Let's go on with this game against Burnley and see whether I can try and get a win, and hopefully I can. Oh my god, Burnley have just completely outplayed us, it's impossible to nick the ball off them, it's so annoying. Like I don't know whether it's because we don't have a particularly big midfield or what, but we just can't get the ball back off them once they've got it, it's so frustrating. Really annoying when it happens. Oh my god, I'm not giving the ball away way too easy there. Yay, you know it's a free kick. I think this might honestly be the worst game I've ever played. I just can't believe it. They're all over us. We have like no chance of winning the ball back at all in midfield. It's an absolute nightmare. Use your pace. Come on, come on, no. Right at him. Come on, De Bruyne, help us out from the corner. Whip one in. Company's in there. Oh, off the line. This is a bit better from a set play. What are you? I told you to pass it. Well, to sum that half up in one word, I would use the word awful. That probably best describes it. Absolutely horrendous. I'm going to have to change the formation because it was absolutely terrible. It really was. We're going to have to change things up. Um, we'll go to my classic 4 5 1, as they call it on here. And we'll stick a Guerra up front, Aubameyang in behind. And I think I'm going to have to bring on a Kadira to try and control things a little bit more. Get rid of the weak players. And I think that's going to be it just for now. Uh, we'll hopefully not have to make any more changes, but I might have to bring Lampard on as well. Or Navas. And yeah, we'll see how we get on going into the second half. Come on, straight from kickoff. What has happened to your pace? Run! Oh my god, that's more like it. No, it's not. We've got to find a goal from somewhere, surely. Start to have a few more opportunities now. Aguero's in again. Sergio Aguero! <sighs> oh my god, he passed it again. This time it went in. Have I done something with my button configuration or something? I mean, what the hell was that? That's not a shot. Side foot pass. Luckily, it went in and we're winning 1-0, but... I can't believe that. Grow with his 10th goal of the season. And we're winning with just over 20 minutes left. Come on, Sergio. Come on. Let's do something. Still on a run here. Sergio is not being brought down. Sergio! He scores. 2-0. Easy win. No issues here. Yeah, we've um, obviously thrashed him here. 2-0. Uh, we've managed to keep the clean sheet just about. Five minutes to go now. Hopefully we can keep the clean sheet. I think we should be able to get the three points, really. I can't say he's conceding twice, but you never know, to be honest. And we've won 
Yeah, not the best of wins. To be honest, it's probably my worst ever performance on FIFA, if I'm totally honest with you. It wasn't good at all. Uh, but we got the three points, that's the main thing, and it's a good sign that we can get three points when we when we play absolutely terrible. So, that's kind of a good thing, uh, but also the performance is slightly worrying. So, hopefully we can step it up in the next game, uh, but we'll have a look at our emails and see who we've got next. Okay, we've gone above our former team Stoke, and we're now into fifth place. So, we've got a Europa League position, I think, um, which is good. Obviously, we're aiming for higher, and how many points are we from the top? And Man United have a gamey hand, so potentially 13 points behind them. Not looking too good, but if we get some games against some of the big teams, which we might have coming up, then we might be able to move quite far up. So we've got Man U. Oh my god, we have no games against the big teams. That's really worrying. We've got to rely on those teams losing. I think the best we can really do realistically is probably around about third. So that's not that good, really. But anyway, Northern Ireland have offered me a managerial position. Really? Wow. Yeah, Torre is no longer suspended. That's good, because we did miss him a little bit. And we've got a game against West Brom coming up. Uh, I haven't decided whether to play this one yet. We're at home, so we will sim it. There's no point playing this one when we can probably get a fairly easy win, I'm saying. I'm saying it quite confidently. I think we should win. Uh, we are going to sim this game. I'll be back in a minute once I've changed the team. Okay, so I've gone with this team. Now, I've got a few players in here that have quite low energy, um, like Aguero. But I've put him in there because we do have an international break afterwards. So, he's got plenty of time to recover, really. Uh, I don't think he's got an international game. He might do, actually, but they're only friendlies, I think. So, I'm not particularly worried about that. Um, I have put Mangala back into the team along with Martinez. So, I've changed both the centre-backs. Yaya Torre comes back into the team. Kadira starts, Navas uh, comes into the team, I think that's about it really. Let's see whether I can try and get a win against West Brom at home, we should really be able to, but you never know, it, it is FIFA at the end of the day. Okay, so they're playing 4-4-2, I'm hoping we can get a win. They've got a few decent plays, it's pretty much their starting 11 to be honest. Um, and they've just scored, Oh Sullivan, how the hell have they scored? Aubameyang gets injured and we're into the second half, oh my god, panic stations... Navas gets sent off, it's getting worse. No, you can't do this to me. Not a loss. I'll. No way. Yes! We've got a draw! I skipped it just because you tend to get a goal when you do that towards the end. David Silva got a goal, three minutes to spare. That's not good that we drew that game at all, but I'll take it rather than a loss. Well, we really are struggling, aren't we? Oh, no, don't do that to me. <sighs> He's out for the rest of the season. Got Danny Ings out, got Bami Yang out. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you're probably going to get more playing time for Nandini. You're probably going to have to play up front at this rate. What's happening to my players? They're falling over and injuring themselves. Got another four weeks of Ings, another four months of Bami Yang out. This is ridiculous. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. If I'm not going to do Northern Ireland, I'm not going to go for Korea Republic, am I? I mean, you should, they should have a thing where it says, like, uh, refuse offers for teams that are below four star or something like that. That should be a thing. That's a good idea. That's my only good idea. Okay, what's this? What's this for? Just a competition. Yep, yeah, give me four million. Why not? Don't really get why I just got that. Oh, you're joking. Does that mean... Is that a Premier League thing? That can't be. I have no idea why I've just got that money. Have I secured a Europa League place? I don't know. I'll take it. If you want to give me four million, that's fine. Not another training injury. Jesus Christ, who's this now? <sighs> Alba, three days. Okay, that's, so, that's fine. Right, now everyone's played 30 or 31 games. We can kind of see a little bit better as to where we are in the table. So a fifth. And we're four points behind fourth and 13 behind first. I think we've literally got no chance of coming top. I think third's a realistic target now, but I'm not going to be particularly happy with that. So that's a bit annoying, really. That's very annoying. I probably could have won the Premier League as well with Stoke. So that annoys me even more. Eight games left, three points for each game if I was to win them, which I probably won't win all of them, to be honest, the way we're going. 3 times by 8 is 24, the most points I can get is 76, 
76 is not going to be enough to win the title because Man U would have to get like 10 points from the last day, which isn't going to happen. So I've just kind of got to play for third place or as high up as I can. As long as we get Champions League football, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do an Arsenal, and as long as we get the top four, that's an achievement, even though it's not really. But anyway, we are going to get on with this game against Crystal Palace. It's going to be an interesting one, this, because we haven't played well and we've only got one striker. So I'm going to change the formation, and I'll be back in a minute once I've changed the team. Right, this is the team we're going to be using. Hopefully, we can get a good result from this. Joe Hart in goal, as usual. Alves starts at left back, and so does Alves. So, the same full backs. My centre backs have gone to my best two centre backs, Martinez and company. In the middle, I have Kadira and Yaya Torre, and De Bruyne and Silva on, out wide. Uh, Bonnie's in behind Aguero this time, and that's my bench. You know it's bad when I don't have a striker on there. We've got Lampard on there. I'm probably going to bring him on at some point. I do quite like Frankie Lamps. And um, we'll see how we get on against Crystal Palace. Go on, Bonnie. This is yours. There we go. Now it's Sergio's turn. Come on, he's turned on the pace. Aguero. <sighs> Sparoni, you idiot. Here we go. This is our turn. Come on, Aguero. We're even and out. He's still going. Sergio. Oh, he's seen his name in lights. No, he's, he's just gone too far with it. Go on, Sergio, get involved. Okay, Bonnie's messing about with it. Oh, go on. David Silva. 1-0. That's how you play it. That's how you play it. That's our only decent opportunity so far. And we've actually managed to do something decent. Look at Bonnie. He'll take the credit for that. He wants the assist to the assist. And we are winning 1-0 after 30 minutes. Go on, Wilfred. Use your pace. Use your pace. Go on, he's weaving in and out. He's on a run. Bonnie! Oh, straight at Speroni again. Oh, Guerra's won it back. And he's lost it again. And that's it for the first half. We are winning 1-0. Not a bad first half. We started off quite poorly. Um, but in the second part of the first half, uh, we did manage to start playing some good football, actually. Probably should be winning by more than one goal, but... It's just the way it's going at the moment. I think we should really get another goal. Oh my god, you won't see this often. We've had more possession. That never happens. For the first time ever in this career mode. Oh, they've dismantled us here. No. <sighs> it gone in anyway. Oh no, it's a red. Is that Vincent who's been sent off? Don't send Vincent off, please. What a joke. What a joke. They dismantled us. Can't believe that. Oh no, no, don't send Peter up. Just that he scored a minute ago. If I can save this, I'll be happy. I sold Peter to uh, Crystal as well. I don't know why I'm saying the first name of everyone. Here we go. Come on, Joseph. Come on. It's early Crouchy. Damn it. Sent me the wrong way. And we are drawing one all. Alright, tactical change. Kadir is going to play centre back. Bonnie's going to come off because he is rubbish. And we're going to play... I really want to play Frankie Lamps. And I think what we're going to do is... We're going to bring on Balanta. Because it makes logical sense. Then we'll take off Kadira. And bring on Frankie Lamps. Okay, so we'll move on like that. And we won't bring on Matuidi just yet. It'll probably come on at some point though. Unless I decide to bring on somebody else. And I think that's going to be it. We're going to make two changes. Hopefully we can now get another goal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we just watch that back? All right, okay. So this is a bit of a bit of play. There's an awful pass. A girl wins it back anyway. This is the bit I want to slow it down on. Scott Dan, bear that in mind. It's Scott Dan here. Okay, not the most skillful player in the Premier League. Scott Dan. Okay. He's going that way. Oh no, you're not. Have that. Do you ever see Scott Dan doing that? At Selhurst Park. I don't think you do. To be quite honest. What the hell? We were past him then. Oh, Frankie Lamps has won it back. He's won it back. Sergio! Oh, I thought I'd gone in. Right, just someone stand on Crouchy. Preferably not the smallest player on the pitch. And Joe should collect that easily. What are you doing? Come on, someone's going to have to get Crouchy. Oh, easy. Okay, that was a bit of a waste. Go on, Balanta. Here we go. Play him through. <gasps> Play him through. Oh, he's too small. Tactical change. We're going to take off David Silva because he's rubbish. And we're going to put Matweedy in centre attacking mid. 
we'll just forget about the left mid, I think. I don't think anyone will notice, to be honest. Especially if I push Alba up, he can just do all that rubbish. And, uh, yeah, we'll put Matuidi in centre attacking mid. Play Aguero. Go on. Go on. Go on. No, oh, Scott Dan to the rescue again. No way. Not Balassi. Not Balassi. Not Crouch. No way, not Crouch. No way. Have you ever seen Crouch score a goal with his foot before? Don't think you have. That's not allowed. <sighs> the only goals Crouch can score with his feet are penalties. Right, not have him score that. Not from outside the box. That's not like Crouch. This is an absolute outrage. We're now losing to Crystal Palace. Take me back to Stoke. What is going on? He's running through me still. No. Square or whatever he's called. Still got it. No. <sighs> Dismantled again. One of the many reasons why you should never go on all out attack. What has happened? We've just completely collapsed. And that is it. We've lost. 3 1. Not the best of results. And let's be quite honest with you, an another awful performance. It's a bit weird though that at the end of the last episode, I mentioned that episode, with it being episode 13, I didn't want to be unlucky. I've not been unlucky, I've just been rubbish, haven't I really? But I've just got three points, or is it four points from the last three games? Something ridiculous like that. I've got a game against Man United. Quite an important one, this one. Even though we've got no chance of winning the league now. It's still quite an important one to try and get us to third place, which, again, is looking increasingly unlikely. We're not going to play that game in this episode, because I've got a feeling if I was to play it now, I'd just simply lose. So, we'll leave it until the next episode. Hopefully, I can get a win then. If you enjoyed this episode, then please give a like and subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Sorry we didn't win many games, but there's not a lot I can do about it other than try and play better. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.